Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you are returning, welcome back loves. I hope everyone is doing fabulous. I am just pushing out some videos on this lovely Friday. So if you're loving the vibe, just smash that like button, energetically exchange energy with me as a thank you. All right, so very interesting to find masculine message here. So hopefully it resonates with you guys. If it does, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Like I said, hit that notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I'm uploading new videos. I do offer personal readings for those who are wondering. If you want a more personalized video, um, you can email me at ameliagilford.hotmail.com. You can find the email all over the channel. Um, but with that, I am going to get started here. All right, the first card coming through is saying, why do I feel lost? This divine masculine's all over the place, man. Holy Hannah. They're better with their mind than their heart. This divine masculine that I feel has a lot of regret because they didn't express from their heart what they wanted to. They were feeling so much love or they were feeling so much, you know, feelings for you, divine feminine, but they couldn't express it. It was like their mind. They were listening so much to their mind that they... They couldn't get out into words. And this could have a lot to do with how this person was raised. There could have some childhood issues where this, this divine masculine never really experienced true love. They never heard the I love you word a lot. So it's like they just have a really hard time. Their love language may be different than yours. So it's just one of those things where I feel like this divine masculine is really listening to their mind versus their heart. And that's what's causing them to be lost. Because their heart is literally tugging at you. This is why they can't disconnect their energy. Their heart is literally tugging at you. But it's like their mind is like, oh, no, you know, walk away from, you know, divine feminine. You'll be okay. But it's like, will you? You know what I mean? Why can't I tell you the truth? See, I told you this divine masculine wants to tell you the truth about how he truly feels about you. I just saw two, two, two. That's definitely a partnership number. Some of you are in partnerships with this person. Some of you, this person does want to be in a partnership with you. But if you're seeing the, the angel number two, 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 this reading is for you. Um, they want to tell you the truth. It's, I don't even feel like this person's hiding anything from you. I just literally feel like they're hiding their emotions. They're not telling you that, fuck, I love you. I want to be with you. I'm going to marry your crazy ass. Like they're just kind of sitting there like a bump on a log, not really doing anything. And, and it's causing them to be, to be lost. It's causing them to feel lost. Um, I can't express myself. See what I mean? They fucking love you like so much. Sorry for the F word, but I, I get steamed up about this because this person truly loves you. And the thing that's holding them back is their own mind, is their own fear, you know? So it's like right now they're not expressing themselves, but they want to, they know they love you. I wish I could understand you. Maybe you are very like, you say one thing, but you mean the other divine feminine so maybe this is what's confusing them what else can i share please spirit y'all sexual desire they have a sexual desire for you they're they, they crave you this is going to be and i just did a reading that brought up the sexual energy too so i know i'm on point this is someone that has huge sexual energy for you this person craves you they long you they can't stop thinking about you they they want you but it's like their own fear of like falling in love or being in love or being in a committed relationship is what's holding them back it's not even because of something that you did or said it's like their own their own trigger you know they feel right now like you deserve better than them so that could be something that's also weighing very heavy on them is they feel like they don't deserve you I'm stuck in visions of us together. You may have already been with this person, obviously, for some of you, about 90% of you have already been with this person. You've already been in a committed relationship with them or at least had sex with them. And so that's what they're falling back on because that's all they have is whatever the past connection was. What else can I say, please, spirit? Why can't I move on from you? Oh, my God. They can't move on from you. This is like written in the stars for someone. It's got to resonate with someone. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if this sounds like your story. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Because I know that this is definitely 
hitting someone tonight, someone who needs to hear this, because, y'all, this is too specific. I can't let go of you. So, y'all, I can't move on from you, and I can't let go of you just came out. So, I don't know who needs to hear this tonight, but this is like a specific message of whoever this is that you've dealt with before that you had a great sex connection with, or maybe you put it on this person. You know deep down this person loves you. You just know. You 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 know when someone really loves you. Like you know, you feel it, right? You're feeling it. This person wants you. They're in, they haven't like they haven't walked away from this connection. They haven't let go of it. They can't move on. They're maybe that's what they're battling in their head. Like, why can't I move on from this person? Why can't I let this person go? What is the truth? See, they're trying to figure out the truth of this connection. They're also trying to figure out the truth of how you feel. Who is getting spicy tonight? We're bringing in that spiciness. We're bringing in that spiciness. What else can I say? Y'all, they're obsessed with you. Baby, I'm obsessed with you. Isn't that a song? I don't know. Hmm. This person ain't going anywhere. They ain't going anywhere. They may say you're crazy or they may think you're crazy or this love is crazy, but they ain't going anywhere. They, they're feeling lost because I feel like their whole life is changing. <laughs> Everything that they thought they knew is changing. I'm afraid to lose you. You may be afraid to lose this person or afraid of this person going to be with someone else. And even if they are, that's not where they want to be. They want to be with you. And I guarantee you this person's going to come back if they haven't already and told you that. They want to be with you. They still love you. They still want this relationship. They're obsessed with you. They can't move on from you. They're, they can't let go of the situation. They're trying to figure out the truth of how they feel and how you feel. Mm. What else can I say? Let's just dive a little deeper. Y'all, it's dark without you. You know, you fuck over a divine feminine and you treat a divine feminine in such a wrong way and you leave a legit good divine feminine, not to say that there's good and bad, but I'm just saying like when a divine feminine is dope and she's loving on you and she's pouring so much into you and you're taken from her more than you're giving and then you go to someone else who doesn't appreciate you the way the divine feminine did. That's what I feel like this person is going through is that they, they didn't realize what was right in front of them until right now. They're trying to get out of another situation. This person wants out. Please do what's best for your heart. This person doesn't want to hurt you anymore. They don't like the idea of you hurting. Oh, I can't stop thinking about you. Oh, my Lanta. Then come forward. Speak your damn truth. Y'all, y'all again worked up listening to this because I know I am. See, confirmation the horn is fucking beeping. Some of you, this person may just drive up. When you see this video, they just may up, like appear out of nowhere, like knock on your door, or, like call you or message you and be like, hey, I'm outside your house. Like for me to get the beeping and just all of a sudden, definitely confirmation of something. Why is it that you love me? You poured so much divine feminine into this divine masculine that they don't know what to do. Ooh, mama's in the house tonight, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my Lanza. Will this ever change? This person is like all over. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. That's what they said. Yeah, they don't know where to start. <clears throat> don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. This person feels like sometimes you don't treat them the best. So you need to work on that. But the heat between us is intense. This is someone that got a lot of heat for you. This is someone that is, you know, they got a lot of love feelings for you. They just can't express it. I don't know what's holding them back. Probably fear. All right, guys. If that makes sense to you, if I'm on point for your reading, if y'all need a personal reading, because that was a lot, 
Let me know in the comments, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you guys so much. Stay blessed. Love and light. And I'll talk to you soon.